Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we got the full Team of the Year in packs, and that's exciting, right? Well, yesterday brought some problems to this game that we didn't really see coming, and it's all because EA changed something with packs and specifically the pack weight for these team of the years and really what it has done is it's drained a lot of the hype out of team of the year which is very very unfortunate but with more cards coming today with a team of the year honorable mentions coming into packs will that save the team of the year hype we're going to talk about that in today's video as well as the leaked sbc and evolutions upcoming as soon as today if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new now of course yesterday was a big day with a lot of saved up packs being open people trying to pack team of the years I was one of those people, but as you can tell on the counter, it's still at one, right? It hasn't moved yet. We were not able to pack any team of the years yesterday with over 100 packs opened and a lot of packs recycled, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat, but let's start off with the content first and talk about the new season that was dropped. Guys, it's really short, only 20 days of this season, only 20 levels as well, and it's going to be pretty quick and easy to progress through, we believe. It doesn't seem like that crazy of a season. You get some solid packs, and packs level up decently fast. Level 7 and 84 times 2, level 8 and 84 times 5. Our first player comes at level 10, Julian Bronze. Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, 4-star, four 4-star, four pinged pass plus. Not that insane of a card, but not super bad either. He has finesse, incisive, tiki-taka, and trivella play styles, but only one play style plus. So not bad there for level 10 if you're a Dortmund fan. And then two UCL heroes at level 12 and 15 in Risa and Rosicki, along with an 84, 83 times 10 at level 13. That's going to be a pretty nice pack there. And then you get all the way to level 16 through 20. This is where the packs get good. 81 times 11, a 50K, an 84.5, a choice of an 87.2 and an 86.3. And then you've got Burkamp Winter Wild Cards in 84-20, which I think is the best pick. And then an 87 times 4 here at the end at level 20. So again, the players in here, you know, Burkamp, not that expensive of a card on the market. But if that's something that you want first owner on tradable, you could obviously take. Rosicky and Risa that everybody's going to be getting. Same thing with Brandt. They're okay. They're not that amazing. But uh, yeah, it is a short season. So we'll be progressing through that really fast. I mean, we'll be through that by basically the end of February. They'll be here before we know it now let's get to the sbc content we had an sbc yesterday that i thought as i said in uh, yesterday's video i thought it wasn't going to come out guys and it did flashback conte now the only issue with this is it's conte which is great but the rest of the stats on the card the upgrade is not that good if i'm being completely honest i know it's got the relentless plus i know that he's got good defensive play styles like intercept anticipate slide tackle it is not a bad card, but with the other center mids and the quality of the other center mids that we've had on this game with Bruno and Sawa especially, this card kind of feels like it's a little bit average compared to those. Now, two-star, three-star is a bit average as well. And if you look at the stat upgrade from his um, radioactive card that was on the market, which also gets better links because it was a radioactive card, um, I think that card's almost better to get over this one. But again, right now, you can craft basically everything for free, quote-unquote, right? Because because of all the packs that are available, saved up packs, the upgrades, and all of that. It's very easy to craft. It is 41% upvoted and 600,000 coins. Like, I really don't think it's that big of a difference. I guess the pace boost is nice and stuff, and it is a better card overall. But for the price difference compared to his other versions, and especially if you're doing this SBC for 600k, like, if you're putting 600,000 coins of fodder into an SBC, like, I'd rather do Bruno. I'd rather keep working on Sawa. That's just my take. But Conte cards, they're always good. I'll say that. They're always good, and I'll probably end up getting this done because I'm just going to have so much fodder to be completing these SBCs. So that's the Conte SBC that was dropped yesterday. Uh, wasn't expecting that, but it looks like we're getting a Team of the Year Honorable Mentions SBC today instead of this Conte. We also had marquee matchups, which, uh, check your clubs. I heard that the... Was the Valencia players were 2,000 coins apiece because they were required in marquee matchups. So maybe check your clubs for that. And the big story of yesterday is kind of like the title of this video entails, right? That EA really disappointed us and kind of destroyed the hype of Team of the Year. And to talk about this, we have to go to the store, of course, right? This is where the packs are. And I want to show you guys something. There's a direct correlation as to why the Team of the Year prices are flying. Let's talk about that first. This is where really this, the disappointment is at. Yesterday, EA did not run that crazy of lightning rounds. They ran a decent amount of them. There were four, five, six lightning round packs that were in the limited section, a limited time section, right? They have a 400k pack, a 500k 
500k pack, 300k pack as well. All the big untradeable packs are there. But the tradable lightning rounds were, again, just like we talked about on Tuesday when the defenders were dropped, they were not that great of lightning rounds. It wasn't the 85 times 7 It wasn't the position-specific lightning rounds that really supplied the attackers and midfielders early on in the week. And because of that, because people right away after the full team was released into packs saw that these cards were not getting packed very much, we were looking at the market right away, looking to see when, you know, looking at the supply of the new cards as people were opening saved-up packs and store packs and lightning rounds. And there was, like, nothing there, guys. Like, seriously, there was nothing... So it was only one way these cards were going to go. We decided that on stream and I was talking about it. I was like, guys, the pack weight today looks bad and the supply with the the packs that we have are not good as well. And from then on, it was just obvious. They were not getting packed a lot. But since people were opening packs, they were still getting the coins from those packs. And these cards absolutely flew because there were so many people waiting to buy these cards as well, just kind of waiting for the drops from yesterday that were supposed to happen, right? We all thought these cards were going to drop because we had seen the pack weight from last Friday into literally just two days ago. But everything changed because of EA adjusting the pack odds as well. And that's why those are the two reasons. EA didn't put great packs in the store and also that they turned the pack odds down. We're going to look at that in just a second. But to, to show you guys more of these price rises, VVD is like 10 million coins. This is disgusting. Why is this card 10 million coins? He is the second most expensive card in Team of the Year, only to Mbappe, who has not been on the market for days now, I think, or at least like one or two will pop up every once in a while. It's crazy how much that VVD is. The entire Team of the Year. Teo Hernandez is 3.7 million coins. This is like unprecedented, guys. It's crazy. Like you guys saw how much supply there was for these cards earlier in the week when they were each released in their positional parts. I mean, I think there was more people that packed cards on a Wednesday when just the defenders were in packs than yesterday when the full team was released. And I really think that has to do with what I'm about to show you right here. If we take a look at the 400k pack that's in the store, there is a 2.8% chance of a team of the year player and a 1.5% chance of a team of the year icon. 2.8% chance from a premium team of the week pack, which is an 80 plus times 75. Two players rated to be 88 or above. This same pack... This same pack that was released during the Defenders Only release just a couple of days ago during that part of Team of the Year had a, what is it, 5.1% chance of a Team of the Year. Guys, there were 10 Team of the Year cards in packs on Wednesday when this pack was dropped, and it was a 5.1% chance. And yesterday when they dropped the full team, so 22 Team of the Year cards in packs, dropped down to a 2.9% chance. That is a massive decrease. And that is what it seemed EA did yesterday, is they cranked the pack weight down so that people couldn't pack the Team of the Year cards as much. And that is what is causing all of the frustration on this game. But why did they do it, right? Why do they do this? Well, it helps them make more money, if you think about it, right? Because you're like, oh, if you're, if you're somebody who likes to buy a lot of store packs, right, or especially people that really want to pack a Team of the Year, now it's like, okay, I got to come back today with more cards coming into packs and try to spend more points on packs to get those cards, right? I think that's what EA is trying to get us to do here in this sense. And I think that's why they did it. They made these cards kind of attainable and like kind of cheap, for, especially for the women's cards during the week with how packable they were. And now they've completely flipped the switch and made you be like, oh my goodness, now I really want to try again to pack these cards. And what was once tangible and felt like it was there is now not. But also on the flip side, it's so frustrating that I think a lot of people are looking at this game right now and they're like, Pfft. I don't want to open packs anymore. I don't want to mess with this because why? Is it even worth it with EA turning the pack weight down that much? And to be honest, guys, I feel a little bit of that as well. I'm still going to rip through a ton of packs because there's another thing to be said about this, guys. Just to clarify, I'm not trying to say that we're all supposed to pack a team of the year and that we're all, we all deserve to pack a team of the year because that's just not really how it works. Team of the years are hard to pack, right? That's just to clarify, it is never easy. But with how good the weight was earlier in the week, it seemed to get our hopes up. And now with this change, it's just really frustrating, right? And it seems like, oh, why can EA do this? Why do they do this? Well, again, it is a business for them. That's how they make money. I, it's not nice and it's not enjoyable for us as the consumer of this game because something that seemed possible before now seems a lot more difficult 
and a lot more impossible. So I'm going to keep ripping packs because again, it's only day. That was yesterday was day one, right? I'm not throwing in the towel right now. I'm got, not giving up personally. I still have a lot of packs left. I opened some 8310s yesterday. I opened some of my safe packs and I've been ripping through a lot of these league specific upgrades. Anytime I get a duplicate, I'm going back into the SBC and I'm rinsing the card through. Um, and today with the honorable mentions coming out, could it change some things? It could, right? What it's going to do is it's going to add more of those league specific cards to pack packs, which could make doing some of those league upgrade packs and opening other upgrade packs better. And who knows, like just as EA turned down the pack weight yesterday, they could turn it back up at any time this weekend into the week next week. But as of right now, it is frustrating, especially after yesterday. So we'll see what happens today. And let's talk about today because there are a lot of new cards coming to this game today that are going to get people excited. Myself, I'm excited for a lot of these cards, especially because they're league specific. And since I have a lot of league upgrades, I'm going to be able to pack these, at least have a chance, I should say it that way. I should have a chance at packing some of these cards. Now, let's talk about honorable mentions and talk about these cards that are coming today. First of all, we have two brand new leaks. These aren't really a surprise. Benini and Olga from Real Madrid, the two players that were in the 12th woman vote as well, uh, they did not win, right? We saw Valverde, we saw Trent, they were in the vote, but Ronaldo won. Pop won the women's vote. They were just leaked to be an honorable mentions team that is going to be coming to PAX today. So that, of course, is expected. But then, of course, you have the Kim Min Jae card that's coming today. You've got Bernardo Silva. Guys, I don't know about you. If you opened PAX yesterday, I even tweeted about this yesterday. This card, I packed three times, probably in the span of two hours. I better pack his freaking honorable mention card today because I want to use a usable version of him in this game. And especially I'm tired of packing his gold. So I want to pack this card, but you know how it's going to work, right? We packed his gold the last couple days and now we're not going to be able to pack him at all. But besides that, we've got Harry Kane coming today. We've got Vinicius Jr. We've got Mohamed Salah, right? Big, big name cards. Really exciting players. We got Fede Valverde. We've got Trent Alexander-Arnold. And not to mention, we have the team of the year 12th man and woman, Cristiano Ronaldo and Alexander Pop are going to be in packs today as well. So we're adding like a full team of players basically today in packs. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was more than this. What is this? Three, six, uh, that's nine. That's only nine honorable mention players. And then you add um, Ronaldo and Pop in there. It's an 11 new players. So maybe that's all they, they want to add. But I think they would maybe throw in a couple others and make it like a full 11 plus the 12th man and woman. So we will just have to see. But there are more cards that are coming into packs today. And one of the things that could also change today up as we keep talking about team of the year cards and their prices for a second is EA could drop better lightning rounds today. I think that they will. One of the things that I guess really yesterday was in facts was it was a Thursday, right? And I think EA know that they sell more packs on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. We always see the big lightning rounds on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays anyway. So if you're looking for a team of the year card today, if you're like, Nate, is there still a chance to buy a team of the year card and still potentially make some profit on it? I don't think we're going to get any prices lower than what we had yesterday. Oh my gosh, 1.9 mil for Renard. There's a lot of, let's be honest, there's a lot of FOMO buying that is going on right now. Some of these prices like Renard, that's crazy. That's what she was like right away when she was dropped into packs. That's up 700K from 1.3 to 2 mil. I don't think that's going to be her normal price today. I think you're going to see some of these team of the years come back down a little bit in the early hours today on Friday, just because like that's too expensive, man. That's too expensive for right now. I know that we've got, we knew that we were going to have some price like, appreciation, but that's that's a little bit too much. There's definitely some FOMO buying that is go on, going on here. Um, so I think you'll have a couple of these cards drop into the content just a little bit because people will be like, oh, they're going to get packed more today, which I think they will. I think they will get packed more today, but I don't think it's going to make their prices crash that much unless EA turn the weight back up. And again, the way you can watch this is this 400K pack is in here for another seven days. So whenever they adjust the pack odds, you can see the timer on the bottom. This was updated like an hour or two after content yesterday, three hours after content. Watch that team of the year number. I know you're going to have a couple more team of the year players in packs today, but it shouldn't shift that number that much, especially with Pop and Ronaldo. They're not going to be that easy to pack as well. So watch that number today. If it goes back up to about 5%, maybe even the high fours, maybe even like three or something like three and a half or four, that could be a sign of better things with the pack weight. And maybe that makes the team of the year prices drop just a little bit, but that's kind of what you'd be looking for today. If you want to buy a team of the year, you're going to have to either chance it and say, all right, I really want Rodri and I want to buy him. So I'm going to look to see if he drops down a hundred thousand coins or so before the content drop, 
or you're going to say, I'm going to risk it and hope that EA drops some bigger packs today, and then I'll just buy the card if the price drops then. So that's kind of the risk for today with those cards. And the team of your honorable mentions should get supplied, I would think, a little bit more. But they will they might be pretty rare off of the bat, too, because all these cards have been in packs for a number of days. And those honorable mentions will be brand new. Now, let's talk about other content, because I know not all of us have a ton of packs, but we do have fodder in our clubs. And I think a lot of us do from opening packs and saved packs, right? Well... This is an SBC that's coming, I think, today. It's leaked as an SBC. This is our, I guess, non-Friday, non-Conte Friday SBC, right? Saliba is coming as an SBC, and it makes sense because EA have been doing SBCs on Fridays related to the promo teams, right? Winter Wild Cards, we got those player SBCs versus we got those. And we're getting a team of the year honor mention, I think, today. It's the only leaked SBC. And that's a big one. Now, the only problem with this is so many people have evolved a Saliba card. He's been in so many Evos this year. His gold card is extinct like almost all the time. It's even extinct right now with the promo card or with the SBC incoming. You guys know how easy it is to craft SBCs right now with everybody having the fodder that we have. And this is going to be a big time SBC today. I mean, you think about all these team of the year honorable mentions and stuff. They put out Brandt, right? Julian Brandt, before we talk about uh, this Saliba card. Julian Brandt is an 84 base, has one special card, and they made him an 88, and he's an objective card. Usually the objectives are some of the lowest rated because they're given out for like just basically free, if you will, just a little bit of time through gameplay. I would imagine Saliba today with an 87 rated promo card, and I mean, he's got Evos that take him up to an 87 as well in this latest one that's Team of the Year center back prospect. I'm hoping that this Saliba today is like 90 rated, not just because I want people who did Saliba Evos to be mudded, not at all, but I just think that a team of the year, honorable mentions type of player for a Saliba, since he's an honorable mention to get in team of the year, it makes sense if it's a pretty high rated SBC. And this is an SBC that a lot of people are going to do. His Evo cards, this Winter Wild card Saliba is very, very hyped. I mean, this card is down a ton, 185,000 coins. He's down like what, 60K? He was, he was 218, 220K, so not quite 60, but about 40,000 coins a drop on this card because um, this one is coming. And it's going to be, like we said, an SBC that will be very craftable that a lot of people are going to do. I'd be very careful with center backs in this game today. Um, even, even some of the more expensive ones, like Vincent Company is a card that I think might end up dropping. I know that he's up a lot, right? He's like... Um, the UCL one I'm thinking of is like 700k or maybe even more than that right now. Yeah, right around 700k. I think he's up like 50 or 60k. Um, I think he could drop today with the Saliba coming out. I'd be careful with other Premier League center backs and other French and just other center backs in general because that's going to be a huge SBC that so many people are going to do. Also for content coming today, we are going to have in SBCs the hopefully the refresh of a lot of these SBCs that we've been doing. Yesterday, I opened all the 84 times 5s. I opened all the 83 times 10s, and I'm hoping that we get another one of these. But there is a leak that the 82 times 20 might be coming out. I think FIFA Romania tweeted that. So if we don't see an 83 times 10 today, it might be an 82 times 20, which I think would be an L. As long as they give us the 84 times 5 back, because that, I feel like, has better pack weight for the higher rated cards. But an 82 times 20, while it will be nice, and it's probably just going to be overpriced, hopefully there's no inform requirement there. And maybe it's two squads, like an 82 and an 83 rated squad or something like that. We'll have to see. So watch out for that today. The 87 plus player pick refreshes today. So there's still going to be a lot of player species inside of here. Um, the I think it's the 81 double. The 81 double also expires today. And I hope that they refresh it. That, I hope they bring it back. But I also hope that they refresh... Uh, and, and bring us some sort of player pick. Guys, we really need like a 78 plus player pick. I think an 80 plus might be too good, but some sort of player pick upgrade SBC that we can turn in for a couple commons for, like a five or six common player pick. That would be so nice. We had one last year and it was very, very good for turning in those some of those unwanted gold commons because right now I'm turning them all into these league upgrades. And yes, I'm getting to open a lot of these packs, but man, it's just the pack weight's not that good. So it's getting a bit draining. I'd almost rather be able to get some other fodder from player picks to just have another option to be turning in those cards. So watch out for that today for sure. And, um, you know, they could also release some sort of like, I know we have an icon pick that's already here. They could release some another sort of hero pick today as well. It's going to be a day where they put out plenty of SBCs because they're also in the know that a lot of people are opening packs too. Now in the objective section, just a quick point on this. Uh, if you're worried, worried or just watching the year in review completionist objective, we are going to get year in review number two 
today. So I think there's going to be another player objective, right? We had the Jaka. This is year in review number one. We should be getting another player objective inside of here today for a team of the year honorable mention, which we'll then be able to complete and get this one second uh, completed in the completionist here. And the next one will come on January 30th. That'll be the third and final to complete that objective. So that's kind of what I'm expecting there. And then evolutions, guys, you know, evolutions have been a part of every promo Friday for the past couple of months now, to be completely honest. We've got some evos that are expiring today. The Patrick Who Evo is going away. And we have leaks. And these leaks, we have a little bit of a talk on evolutions right now because these leaks that are coming, they look like good evos, but it might be the end for what you call the unclaimed evo glitches, right? And I'm not necessarily trying to go for glitches here with these cards. I've just done their evos. And in the past couple of weeks, it's just been more worth it to keep them unclaimed if they don't go into your starting 11 because you never know what they're going to end up as, what they may fit into if an unclaimed evo glitch were to work for them. These are the two evos that are leaked right now. It is a left wing evo and a center mid evo. The left wing evo looks kind of nice. 85 max overall, 87 pace, 85 physical, no play styles, max eight play styles. But here's where it gets interesting. And it looks like they're going to patch or at least hot fix or stop people from doing the unclaimed evos glitches with this rarity type as one of the requirements in progress evolution. So you can't put a player into the evo. It'll be added to one of the requirements that you see right down here. It'll be added in there. You can't have a player that is rarity type in progress evo. And here's the issue with this. If I go to my club and I want to show you when I search the club, obviously have the bronze squad here, right? For the team of the year pack luck, or at least the superstition of that. If I find the card design that says in progress evolution, and I click on that, what I do when I click on that is see I see all of my evolutions. This could be problematic because I should not be seeing my Sessegnon, Hyunmin Son, the Ragoni who's in my main team, Ben Sabini or Al Sandrini. Those are completed evolutions with their specific Evo cards. And if you actually click into the card and look at the card type, it does not say, I forget where it says it. Oh yeah, Centurion's Evo right below Al Sandrini right there, right? That he is not card type in progress evolution. That's why I'm a little bit confused. And I just foresee potentially a little bit of problem with this with Evos. If they drop that today, my only hope is, is that this search is a little bit bugged because if I also search like with the different evolutions card designs, you can see that I get other cards that come into here, right? So I hope it's just a search bug in the club and I hope it has nothing to do with Evos, but I'm a little bit worried because that might inhibit us from doing all chain Evos, if, if that makes sense, right? Like if I did an Evo and finished it and it shows up inside of an in progress evolution card type in the game, then I wouldn't be able to put it into another Evo. So that's a bit of a kind of sketchy part about this, but this Evo does look pretty good. And here's why players get the rapid plus play style and the Trivella play style along with other stat upgrades. Now, I don't know if these stat upgrades are accurate or not, but this is a really big boost. The Akpo is like a card I think right now that's near the top of Footbin because he's very, he was at the top of Footbin because um, he was going extinct or going up a lot in price for this Evo. Yeah, he's up 4,300 coins. Like he's got 85 pace and 84 dribbling on his card. If you look at this leak, he goes to 92 pace and 91 dribbling. That's a really sizable boost. If that is the actual boost they're going to give out on these cards, this is going to be a really insane Evo. I would say on par with like the finisher Evo because Rapid Plus and the Trivella playstyle, that'll be pretty crazy. I think it's going to be paid. So whether that's today or whether that is sometime over the weekend, watch out for that one. And then also we have a center mid Evo, which is for just like, again, I don't understand this one. I don't understand this one because it's yet again another evolution for a midfielder that it has to be below 80 rated. We have had two recently, Team of the Year Unsung Hero and Visionary that are both max 77 and max 79. We're getting a max 75 overall midfielder, but it gives you two play style pluses, Pinged Pass and Relentless, which is very OP. The Relentless play style, the Energizer battery as I call it, it's very, very OP and pinged pass, which is not this one, but it's the same one uh, that they put on the Brandt card, right? Pinged pass. That's a very OP one as well. And um, yeah, you have to be low rated though. Max pace 80, max shooting 74. And you also cannot be an in progress evolution. So we'll see how that impacts evolutions today. And uh, we might do a little more conversating on this on the second YouTube channel after we see an Evo drop today, just to see how it works. But um, if they're going to say we're going to fix the unclaimed Evo glitch by putting a requirement to not be able to put those cards into that next evolution, then technically any of the Evos that are still working right now 
would be able to work with an unclaimed Evo glitch um, unless they're going to do some sort of patch or update and do another thing to stop that. So uh, if that's the case, I just started uh, another Evo, or I thought I did. I started an Evo for, uh, I guess it didn't go through, or I don't know. My Evos must be glitched right now because I started an Ashley Phillips Evo, and it's not showing here, which is really, really weird. But I think that Patrick Who Evo is kind of glitched. We'll see. But I'm trying to work on that Evo right there um, because if that is the case, then it might just be all new Evos that have that in-progress evolution requirement those might be the ones that are fixed from the unclaimed Evo situation. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit more because I was able to make a really cool trade yesterday with Rodri. I did sell him a bit early, but it was in that first hour when all the team leaders were exploding. I bought Rodri for 2.2 million coins, sold him for 2.4 mil, literally a 10-minute swing on the card, and he went up 200,000 coins, and I ended up making 77,000 coins on this flip. I was happy about that, but the rest of the market, is flying. If you guys are like, Nate, what can I do to make some coins today? Just watch all these cards that have gone up a bunch in value, like Rafinha today. I know we're getting a wing Evo. Okay, he's 315. He was just like, um, he was just 315. Now he's 280 again. You can see, look at all these cards. 284, boom. He just shot up to 330,000 coins. Maybe that was a bit of a rarity spike, but the out of packs market is just flying, guys. Because like we mentioned in last night's video, people have opened their packs, they have gotten coins. They're going out and they're buying cards off the market. I mean, Felix, look at this card. From 527K, he's 680,000 coins right now. So I do think that some of these prices will cool down as we head into content. We get a couple of SBCs today. People are opening more packs. But I would take a close look at the market. If you're looking to trade today, maybe buy something for your team. Find the cards that went up a lot yesterday especially if they're not getting a new promo card. Be careful with a guy like Salah. Ooh, that Sanchez looks so. 390. I think he was like 415 or 420 earlier. Uh, three, okay, he was 375 and he did go to 420K. So maybe I need to see like 380 if I wanted to buy that. But go through and look at some cards that you see like, oh, their price is up and watch their item price today on this game as we head into content. Even after we go after content with the new SBCs that are released, like this Walker is down a lot right now because of Saliba. He could still end up going higher later tomorrow. Um, the Winter Wild Cards, of course, Team of the Group Stages, Dynasties, Radioactives, Thunderstrucks, the Heroes. Watch all of these types of cards. The ones that went up really good, like this Diani. Diani exploded. She's up like 70K. She was 480 yesterday before the content, right? 499, 480 something. Boom, 550K. Those are the types of cards you can be watching on this game to potentially make some coins because the market should continue to fly on the out of packs range because, of course, those cards aren't in packs. And as people open the lightning rounds, they get coins. The coins get put on this game. And you see those prices rise as people go and buy cards for their teams. Last thing I want to talk about is fodder. A lot of us have it right now. 82s, 3s, and 4s, and 5s. My club is chock full after starting to open some packs. And you can tell because that's the part of the market that's down. Look at 84s. They're minimum price. 1.3K, I believe, is minimum price for these. Okay, it's 1.2K, but they're almost minimum price. Wouldn't be surprised if they stay around there today um, because the amount of supply is still going to be crazy on that low tier. But the top tier part of the market is exploding, and it's going up way faster than I thought it would. But again, it's because we didn't get good lightning rounds yesterday. So these cards didn't get supplied, but people got coins. And now these cards are going up because they're going and doing SBCs like the Bruno, like the maybe the new Conte. But of course, all the icons like Hullet and Eusebio and the new ones like Sawa, everybody is going and doing SBCs. And of course, with some of these cards going out of packs as well because their team of the years are in packs, it was a huge rise in this part of the market. If we get good lightning rounds today, you can get on bids. You'll be able to make coins there again, even though it didn't work that well yesterday. Just be prepared to pay a little bit more than maybe you thought you needed to because those cards are already inflated in value. But just watch the bids. Watch the prices dip down. It should be, a, should be a big day today, guys. I have my hope rejuvenated in the fact that there are new cards coming to packs and the fact that EA can change the pack weight just like they did yesterday. They can turn the pack weight back up a little bit. If they're seeing that people are starting to get frustrated with this game, which is definitely what is happening right now, I hope they say, okay, guys, we got to make a little bit of a change here and update this pack weight a little bit. So I hope that's what they do today, guys. We'll be watching that very, very closely. And we still have a lot of packs to open. Now, the team of your icons, really quick. I know this is kind of confusing with everything in and out of packs, but the team of your icons, team two today with Mia Ham, with um, Ferdinand, Mateus, all those, those are going out of packs. We don't expect them to return until Sunday. So that is kind of the bad thing with uh, today. Honorable mentions coming into packs, but the icons look like 
they are leaving packs. If anything changes, of course, we'll adjust on the fly. But if you invested in any of those, they could be rising out of packs today as well. A little bit more risky for sure, but you've seen how the other team of the year icons have done out of packs like Javi, Ribery is up now. Uh, Czech is doing very good. So be very careful with uh, Alam, a Mateus, or a Rio because they still seem very expensive, especially Rio. Three mil is like is mad, but uh, they won't come back into packs, we think, until Sunday. So good luck opening packs. As always, tweet me. If you pack something sick, I want to know about, about it. We'll end with one. We'll end with one decent pack here. Let's do... I have two 83 tens. Let's do one of them. One 83 times 10 to end the video off today. It's not a blue. And please don't give me Bernardo Silva. I'm getting a Dutch center attack in mid. Okay, not too bad of a pack. Some more fodder that we will use in crafting our SBCs. Oh, Alaba as well. I'm not putting him into the Evo, but uh, yeah, that's a card that a lot of people need for Evos right now. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today for Team of the Year Friday number two. It's been Nate's with account. See you guys there. Peace.